It is Sunday, September 3rd. We are on our way to go cover the La Tuna Fire. That's in the Sun Valley area, just north of the actual city of LA. Still still LA, but just uh, up north up there near Burbank, Glendale area. Uh, there are hundreds of people who have been evacuated from their homes. We have at least two homes that have burned, that have caught fire, and we have around 800 firefighters on the scene. More firefighters that we sent to go cover and help out for Hurricane Harvey. They've actually come back to uh, add more manpower to try to put this fire out as soon as possible. It is uh, covering around 5,800 acres. That's how many acres have burned so far since it began Friday afternoon. And this has made it the largest fire in the city of LA's history. So it's kind of a big deal. We have a lot of people that are affected by this. So we are going out trying to relay the information that firefighters are trying to get out there to the public. Those that have already been evacuated or those that may be evacuated if the fire, if the winds start working against firefighters. So that will be our day. You can see already, hopefully you can see this. There's a, oh, now yeah. It's being blocked. But there's a large, large amount of smoke. And that is where we are going. Okay, oh wow, you can actually see the flames right there. After we get past this, uh, this wall barrier, you'll see a hill, a mountain. So we are here at Hanson Dam in Sun Valley. And uh, this is where firefighters and officers come back to regroup, to get food, to get something to drink, something to sleep, or rather find time to sleep. So this is like basically kind of like a summer camp <laughs> on, a, on a grand scale. You have a lot of people sleeping in tents, sleeping on benches wherever they can so right now we just have all our equipment uh debating what to take uh you know what let's just take the mic here to kind of get your full name spelling and title uh, my name is ralph terrazas last name is t-e-r-r-a-z-a-s fire chief of los angeles fire department and the conditions i know that we're trying to keep an eye on how fast this fire will be growing. What are we looking at right now? Well, the weather today is going to be more favorable than it has been the last few days. Uh, the humidity will be up. The temperatures are starting to come down. We anticipate making a lot of progress today. Okay, so it is um, 8.50 right now. We are going live once again at 9 o'clock for the top of the hour newscast. Uh, we're here at the Fire Command Center in Silmar near Hansen Dam. And this is where hundreds of firefighters, vehicles, police uh, officers are all converging. This is kind of like the base camp where they get instructions of what they will be doing today, as well as refueling on supplies of water, food, and other equipment. So we'll be out here this morning. We have uh, Eyewitness News, Channel 7, KNX out here. I think I saw NBC4 out here also. Uh, but we're just gonna find a good spot, set up shop. I, at 10 o'clock over here, that's where they're gonna be holding a, another briefing, giving an update on the acreage talking about how many homes uh, have been damaged by the fire. Hopefully that number has not gone up. Uh, right now, again, we have around 700 people, 700 homes that have been evacuated since Friday because the fire's just creeping way too close. 
and uh, we heard of a few more evacuations today but the weather should be on the side of firefighters so uh, hopefully people if uh, the fire has receded in their area they'll be allowed to go back home but right now we're just gonna get ready for our live reports and that's a helicopter going down clean up water we're gonna work on a script really quick for the uh, 15 minute segment and then we're gonna head down over there to where the dam is and uh, get some good audio get some good video of those helicopters picking up water and staying dry hopefully trying to stay dry i'm camped right here by the hansen dam you might be able to hear the helicopter coming down sucking up water and taking it back to the firefight and it's amazing to actually see this aircraft in action swooping down hovering feet over the water and just leaving almost as quickly as it showed up it is a it is a pretty amazing sight rather 5800 but still large it, it, it is the largest fire in la city history we are here at the command center in somar and we'll be getting briefed with the latest information around 10 o'clock uh, but as of right now things are uh, looking good as in for the weather it's nowhere near as hot as it was over the past few days looking at temperatures in the mid 80s to low 90s in some parts however the air quality is not that great officials say if you're not under evacuation stay inside your home because the amount of soot ash and dust in the air can affect your health and your breathing however uh, they are saying you know we may experience some power outages because of the fire and so if your home has no electricity and the temperature starts going up people are recommended to leave their home and check out one of the many cooling centers that are in the area another popular thing to bring is socks that's one of the, the least thought about, but one of the most needed supplies that people who've been rushed out of their home not able to grab anything. How you doing? How long have you been here today? Doing some uh, behind the scenes shooting. That's what you're doing? Yeah. yeah. Nice. John Baird, the greatest. Nice. Can you just name a few of those? And then our members will be available one on one after. Okay, so the news briefing just ended. Uh, the fire has grown about 95 acres from what was the estimate yesterday. They're hoping the weather will uh, cooperate with them to get the upper hand. But right now we are going to rush to the car, which we are here and start working on some stories okay so we will be going live at what time is it 11 o'clock we got the scripts ready and we have people on horses over here what's going on over here can you see that They're right over there try to zoom in enhance but yeah got three people on horses i don't know if they're part of um of a task force or a crew or they're just riding through i might talk to them afterwards we'll find out but first let's call in <laughs> 
Yeah, that's right. The fire has only grown about 95 acres for a total of 5,895 acres burned, but containment has stalled at 10%. The 210 freeway is still closed in both directions between the Glendale Freeway and Sunland Boulevard with no estimated time of reopening. Reporting live from the Fire Command Center in Silmar, James Rojas, KBC News. When we do have a lot of the things that we need, but the community has been very generous bringing loads of food and uh, water and all different sorts of snacks. So it's definitely appreciated. We don't necessarily need it. So, you know, don't feel obligated, but we do appreciate the support of the community.